Yo, welcome back to another Siege video. Uh, we have ended the Siege season uh, and begin our tournament season. Uh, tournament phase, should I say. So yeah, this is pretty much uh, our end of season review on both accounts before we start looking into the tournament. So we ended up with 96.1 on the uh, main account, EU account. Uh, pretty good season. The end I kind of died off uh, and threw away quite a few... <laughs> Defeats, but overall we finished with 221 wins and nine defeats. So yeah, uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, jumped up like nearly two percent, 1.7 percent win rate. Uh, yeah, so happy with that, I guess. Uh, just next season we'll try not to. We'll try and be a bit more consistent throughout the whole season rather than just good at the start. Uh, for the tournament, we we drew against Isso uh, in the first round. Isso was probably one of the harder uh, draws we could have got. There was some uh, much easier opponents, and there was a couple of like tricky ones, which uh, Iso are. So, yeah. Uh, but if we do pass uh, Iso, we have a pretty good run uh, to the semis, I'd say, because we we're on the side with Doubt Amnesia. Uh, nothing against Doubt Amnesia. Doubt Amnesia are, are a good guild, but they're not as good as the other three guilds that are in there. And Q, uh, Cardiac Unity are on the opposite side as well, so we can dodge them. So yeah, uh, in terms of a draw, it's pretty good for us. We can we can do well. We can we can run go quite far, uh, considering uh, our experience and such isn't uh, semi final level for the majority of us. There's a few old squad zero people who are very well experienced, but quite a lot of us are more like round one, round two uh, level. So yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, we shall now have a quick look at the global account. Yep, so this is the data from the global account. I ended up with a slightly better win rate, but we were, majority of the time, at a, at a bit of a lower ELO, uh, kind of like the border of G3 and floating between G2 and lower G3, so it's kind of expected. But we finished with 228 wins and 7 losses. Uh, we had like a few where uh, I didn't quite make the... Uh, all the attacks due to the time zone and such. Uh, but overall, pretty good season. There was a couple of throws, like the misplay uh, against the Kinky team. I just attacked the complete wrong team, set up Maroons, went back and hit, like, uh, say, base 5.1 instead of 5.2. So that was a proper throw. Uh, just up in the early gate, early season, yeah, there was a build issue one where, uh, yeah, we just, took, we just didn't have enough damage. Uh, and then there was a laziness one, which, again, was preventable. Yeah, quite a few preventable uh, teams here. Um, but yeah, overall pretty happy with the season. Uh, new guild, uh, Gully side, and they came close. If we'd have won the last game, we'd have, we'd have been rank 18. Sadly, the team of beaters got rank 18. So, yeah, overall it was a pretty good season. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this account in the new season. If I'll stay at Gully side, or if I will move somewhere else, I haven't quite decided. Uh, and if I do move somewhere else, I haven't even decided if it's going to be to a higher guild or... To a lower guild, I just don't really know what I'm going to do with the minute. I'll, I'll decide after the one v ones. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just have a look at today's attacks. So yeah, this is the first attack in the tournament. Uh, we use the John, Helen, and Leo team versus the Tessarian, Nikki, and Byungchul team. Uh, I was really nervous, which was quite weird. Uh, not so much for myself, but I just didn't want to let the rest of the guild down. So yeah, and I was at work, which didn't really help. I had a really really busy day at work and. I kind of like was dotting in and out, so I didn't really see a huge amount of the, the game, but uh, yeah, it was just uh, it was a bit of a nightmare, and like I say, I was feeling a bit nervous, so yeah, we just used this team, and uh, yeah, we've got the cleanse from uh, Leo, if things do go slightly wrong, and we just uh, try and get defense bear breaks going and such. Um, one thing I did notice versus this team was, I didn't realize at the time, but they're, they're quite high res, obviously. The uh, res lead, and then I didn't realize that the two of them awakened into res. So it felt like they were, it was 100 res, and they probably were because of the the, the lead and the uh, base stats. So yeah, let's just watch it. <laughs>
For the next attack, we were versus the Sierra Jogun and Tessa, and we use our Maxi Tiana uh, Fiatris, who I really like. Uh, we used a full wheel will team, so I could have made my Tiana like 10 faster, but I was worried that like it might be some kind of like swift trap or something and make it slap to some something stupid, so uh, it might get sealed or something stupid. I just went for a faster set, uh, but on will. So everything was on will, so if Jogun was moving first, then Tiana would still get to do still get to do her thing. And we just simply outspeed and uh, cleave him down. For the next attack, we were versus the Dark Siri, uh, Chichlid, and Ashia. Uh, we do hit this quite a lot, five times, I think, in total. So this is the only commentary I'm going to be doing for the five attacks rather than keep going back through them. But basically, we use our, fair, our, our favorite team, but our most common team this season, which is the Tractor Windy Tetra. Uh, two units that can be defense broken, and then a unit that can cleanse even when reset. And yeah, we just take minus Dark on pretty much everything. Uh, try to avoid the snipe in the opener and then from there we just uh, try and destroy them down and if things go pear shaped and Tetra gets defense broken we try and put slows up and use provoke to try and give Tetra enough time to get a turn and use her passive to cleanse and heal uh, and that's pretty much it uh, try and get 100 res on the Tetra and uh, high stats uh, and yeah that's pretty much it let's watch, watch them all Every time we touch, every time we touch you, baby. 
For the next attack, we versus the Tessarian, Bungchil, and Nasha. Pretty common uh, LD, uh, sorry, pretty common mix of Tessa, Bungchil now. Plus, the LD is quite common. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to use our Tiana Veradesima and take first turn and uh, try and cleave him down. Uh, we've got CC as well and double uh, two sets of damage coming up more than likely before they get to move with the reset from Verad. So, Unless uh, everything misses, this should be pretty easy. So for the next attack, we're versus the Sierra Jogo and Tessarian again. They had quite a few towers of this, so we were prepping, well, I was prepping teams in my mind, uh, which I could use, because it was, obviously I was doing it at work, so I was just popping in and out, but when when you're an addict, you kind of still think about where you're working, so I was like popping into work, uh, seeing what towers and that were, were coming up. I was going out and doing a bit, and then while I was out on the job, I was thinking about potential teams, as you do. Uh, so yeah, so we ended up using the uh, Bulwark, Windy, Amelia. Uh, they're pretty much like going to split damage between the wind and the water, so the burst potential is less. Um, I ended up putting Windy on Will to try and uh, get rid of the potential of being sealed uh, and then all damage going into a water unit. But uh, yeah, the Jogun was actually slower and... We ended up moving, so that didn't really work. But the, the idea was there that we would use Will over Destroy because they don't really need to be destroyed because they've got no sustain. Uh, and yeah, that was pretty much it. As long as we don't die uh, and they start splitting the damage, and then we get immunity up, it's GG. Yep, for the next attack, we're versus the Sylvia Chichlitisarian team, uh, fairly common, probably the most common uh, LD5 team this season. Uh, yep, we use the Tessarian here, Gang Riley, uh, counter I've used a lot, but maybe one's used a lot. Uh, we just uh, oblivion the Sylvia and try and kill her, uh, and when she can't be killed or uh, the Tessarian's about to move, we can also Tessar uh, oblivion the Tessarian to try and give us a bit of breathing space. And yeah, basically, uh, we're just trying to stay alive, keep glances up, and keep oblivion up. Stop stalling it. 
Thought we said we're good, was that misunderstood? You're looking at me so cold After all that we've been through, how could you pretend Someone that you don't know? I'm so sick of planning all my nights and nights Round of voting you, it's got to end We don't have to love again, I'll try, try Tell me Yep, so this is the end score. It was a really, really close game. Uh, came down to the last couple of attacks and last couple of towers. Uh, and yeah, we just got it over the line. We did take a decent lead at the start. And then uh, we kind of dropped a bit of win rate and they came back. So we were kind of expecting a, a hard game. And it was it certainly was a very close game. So we glad to get through. And obviously in the GG to ISO, it was, like I say, a close game. Uh, next game, we've got... Uh, Aftermath Unleashed. Again, I'm expecting a hard game because there's a lot of uh, experienced and good players and apparently they've got really good LDs as well. So, yeah, uh, it just depends which version of them turns up, I guess. Uh, they're kind of like casual compared to how they used to be, so we'll just have to see what they bring. But, yeah, uh, happy with the way I played in the first game, 10 0. While at work, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, no major issues. Uh, we had one defense win, but you don't really get to see the defense wins, which I think kind of sucks from a siege point of view. Uh, they should change it so you can hide your attacks. Uh, if you go in, you kick the other person out, etc. That would be my change. Uh, so just so you can see what defenses are working and that, because that's kind of like part of the game as well. Like it, it's nice to win uh, on offense and that, but 
50% of the game is your defense as well. So, and being able to hide it kind of ruins the fun of it for me personally. I don't know if that's everyone's uh, feelings, but for me, yeah, it's kind of poor that you can just dodge and hide. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty good performance by everyone in the guild and just happy to win. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video and I'll see you in round two.